Ladies and Chief Justice Gertrude Tokonu has explained the decision to expedite the injunction application filed by the MP for South Dai. Roxon Nelson Dafiamakpo aimed at halting Parliament's confirmation of newly nominated ministers by President Akufuado. Justice Tokonu asserted that the case was ripe for hearing as all necessary procedures had been fulfilled. There is more in the following report. The Chief Justice gave this explanation in an interaction with the Judicial Press Corps. The engagement is part of attempts by the head of the judiciary to improve the relationship between the judiciary and the press. Her Ladyship Justice Gertrude Isaba Tokunu took the opportunity to clarify how the judiciary approaches certain issues. One of those is the concerns about how cases at the Supreme Court are shadowed for hearing. The recent concerns emanated from the decision of the court to hear an injunction application filed by Roxanne Nelson of Yamako ahead of other cases that were filed earlier. But the Chief Justice explained that the case was scheduled in line with the rules relied upon by the Apex Court. In this particular case, as soon as the case was filed, the Attorney General filed his response. His, he filed his affidavit in opposition. So the case was ripe for hearing. We were going to go on Easter break, and the Attorney General wrote and said, this is a matter of governance. So could the court issue hearing notice for the case to be heard? And the court was going to sit on the Wednesday. And so hearing notices were issued so that the <coughs> applicant who filed the case himself and who should, be moved, who should be interested in his case himself will come to court. And all the different, uh, the two other respondents will also come to court. So the bailiff went and sent all of them with hearing notices. And when the court sat on that Wednesday, it formed part of our list. Because hearing notices had been served on everybody, and the respondents had filed their affidavits in opposition. She further explained the rationale behind implementing a shift system in certain courts, highlighting the need to alleviate the workload on judges. One of those court, the, the, those courts have um, Labadi, Teshi, um, Badina, in Sawam, in Sawam, Amasaman, in Adenta. In, in Adenta, for instance, one high court had, one high court judge has as many as uh, 550 cases. One has 600 cases. Surely, she cannot work effectively. The same for Amasaman, the same for um, Ifat Tema has very high cases, and Labadi, very high cases, Teshi, very high cases. And, and so uh, it, it, it become necessary to see how <coughs> to relieve the load in those courts. And that is what necessitated the afternoon shift for. For the Chief Justice, her outfit has only been motivated by the need to improve efficiency within the judiciary. With all these decisions that are being taken by her office, reporting for City News, Hansen Ajiman.